What does it mean to be a Finn? 100 years after the independence declaration? I guess if I think of my youth and my education and my development as an artist, as a person and so on, I'm a product of a welfare society of the Nordic kind, where education has been by and large free, where healthcare has been by and large free, where at least when I was growing up there was a, a lot of support and emphasis on culture, especially music. A culture where classical music is okay, and not some kind of weird uh, elitist uh, anomaly activity, but something that can be and is quite often uh, a normal part of people's everyday life. The one thing that almost every Finn shares, myself included, is, is love for nature and the need to kind of connect with the nature and, and feel grounded and be close to the water and that I can feel stronger now than ever before. And there's this kind of feeling, this is a culture that has not been urban for very long. Okay, we're urban because we, we have to, uh, somehow to make certain structures in society work uh, requires density. I mean, I'm perfectly capable of living and navigating and, and existing in the largest urban centers in the world. But when I go to the nature, out to the woods, in even places which I know very well, such as LA or London, it's just wrong. The trees look wrong. The leaves have wrong shapes. It smells wrong. The birds sound wrong. They sing wrong. It's just everything is somewhat off. Every Finn, practically, has a sort of a little heart somewhere. And it's kind of bizarre. The moment this norm Finn has a um, couple days off, they go to this hut and sit there quite happily. And sometimes it's really hard, tough going. You know, lots of mosquitoes, it can be cold, rainy. The whole family is in this hut. Kids are getting impatient and bored and, and you're slapping the mosquitoes around them. But they love it. They would not not do it. To be a Finn coming back to Finland in 2017, it's a relief, I must say. Because so there are so many places where politics have gone insane. And I get the feeling that the, the idea of rational intellect, rational thinking, that has been the ideal since the French Revolution, has been thrown out of the window in many places I know well and in places where, where I've lived and where I live, such as the US and, and the UK. There's no doubt in my mind, since Finland joined the European Union, Back in 95, everything is better. I mean, and things, things that people even don't think about and take for granted. Food is better, coffee is better. The meta metabolism of Helsinki feels more natural and, and it's more open, things are, more things are happening. It's, it's a culturally incredibly active city. And a lot of that is, is because of the new influences that, that have come in. Every culture I'm, I've ever heard of is a result of 
sometimes conflicting influences, influences and, and certainly different sources of people, DNA and cultural influence. And this is a country where Swedish was the main language of the educated people and upper classes for, for centuries. Finnish was the language spoken, spoken by the peasants. And Russian was the language spoken by the true rulers of this country since 1809. So whatever we are, we are a hybrid. And I'm very proud of being a hybrid. I love it. Thank you.